Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to a quick video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator and I'm sure many of you all agree that visually Microsoft Flight Simulator looks absolutely stunning. As we can see, this is one of the most scenic approaches in Europe, approaching Lisbon Airport from the south, runway 02. But as you're watching this, you may notice that actually there are some what we've called micro stutters going off in the background. And you can see it's literally just for a split second at a time. It's no longer smooth on my approach, meaning that one, it kills the immersion and two, it actually makes it really difficult to land. And these micro stutters usually only occur most frequently when you're on approach to your destination, which if you've just had a wonderful flight, particularly a nice long flight, one of the things you look forward to the most, of course, is the landing. And if you have it ruined by these micro stutters, well, it's a real shame. And of course, it can affect your ability to control the aircraft and get that perfect smooth landing that you're aiming for. Recently, I did this arrival into Lisbon and it was a great flight, but this is what we were presented with when we were on final. It was almost a bit of a slideshow, maybe not quite that bad, but it was certainly enough to spoil what had until that point being a really nice flight. So I did some testing and I went to a couple of other airports as well to see how my PC and the simulator were behaving. And strangely enough, these micro stutters were occurring more frequently than I'd ever noticed before. Uh, it wasn't something that I had ever suffered from previously, but I was getting them now at most airports where I uh, was doing these, uh, doing these tests. Obviously, it's frustrating, and I know that many of you, when we've been on our live streams, have also mentioned things like stuttering, particularly when you're coming in to land, as you can see here on screen. So I want to try and eradicate these stutters because it really does spoil the, uh, well, what is arguably the best part of the flight. And I'd love to hear from you guys as well in the comments down below if these micro stutters are also affecting you. So I've done a couple of things with my PC, which has actually eradicated all of these low level stutters. I'm going to share those with you now and take you through uh, exactly what it is I've done. Step one then is clearing Microsoft Flight Simulator's cache. So if you go to the options page and from there, head into general options and find the data tab. Scroll right down and there you'll find the rolling cache. Now, if you're not using this, then you don't have to do this step. But if you are, even if it's only a small amount like the 10 gig you see here, um, delete all of that and then don't forget to apply and save. Okay, that's step one. Next, you'll need to exit your simulator and launch the NVIDIA control panel. Go to manage 3D settings and then scroll down in the window to where it says shader cache size. And we're just going to disable that for the time being. Once that's done, exit the NVIDIA control panel and it will ask you if you want to save your settings. Of course, please select yes, and then that's done. Next then, open Explorer to navigate to the user and app data folder. There, next, it's the local folder and there you'll see the NVIDIA folder. The path is on screen below. In here then, we have got two folders which we are just going to delete uh, all of the files within those folders. Don't delete the folders themselves, just any of the files within them and subsequent folders within them. The first folder is the DX cache folder and the second one is the GL cache folder. Now the GL cache folder has subsequent folders within it. You can delete the first line folder within the GL cache folder and that then takes care of that. The next thing you need to do then is type in disk cleaner into your menu bar at the bottom left, open up the disk cleaner and when you get this menu you'll see on here that we've actually got a DirectX shader cache as well. Make sure that's selected and this will just delete all those files as well. Obviously this is perfectly safe to do so, it's part of the inbuilt Windows disk cleanup operation and uh, I actually had a quite a few files that uh, I've just cleaned up there over 11 gigs so nice to get that space 
place back. Okay, once that is done then, you need to restart your PC before we go any further. And once it's all rebooted, open up the NVIDIA control panel again and just turn back on the shader cache size. Me, I just leave it back to the driver default, which is what it was on previously before I turned it off. So now let's check out the difference in the approaches as we get close to the ground. Here we are back in Portugal, that gorgeous approach coming into Lisbon. And as you can see, this is a vast improvement in what we had at the start of the video. No stuttering or little micro stutters, pauses, etc. Uh, in fact, it's just as smooth as it always used to be before these micro stutters started to uh, make an appearance. So that's great to see, but that wasn't enough for me. I needed to go uh, further afield and check out landings at some other airports. And I wanted to use airports ports which I knew usually used quite a lot of resources on the PC. So this is an approach into London Heathrow after doing all the uh, cache reset. And I'd also got FSLTL static models turned on as well, just because whenever I was flying and getting the micro stutters in the past, I usually was on the VATSIM network. So there were other aircraft usually around. So just to try and make it a bit of a fairer comparison. As you can see though, coming into Heathrow's runway 27 right a gorgeous view on a lovely day then once again there weren't any stutters to be seen in fact it was really nice and smooth I then took the aircraft to Switzerland and we flew into Zurich again an airport which whilst doesn't have loads of scenery around in terms of uh, big built-up areas and skyscrapers etc it's still one of those which you're getting down close to the ground there's lots of buildings on the approach that kind of thing so a good opportunity to test to see if those micro stutters were still present and wonderfully they were not still nice and smooth so it seems for me at least doing those steps laid out earlier on in the video has really improved the simulator when it comes to those final few feet and the landing now I would love to hear what you guys uh, have to say regarding these micro stutters and if you go through these steps yourself to try and eradicate them do you have the same success as I seem to have had? I'd love to hear in the comment section down below how you're getting on with it, whether you've tried this out and had the same results as me, or if it's not worked for you. I do think that this is the kind of fix which I'm probably going to have to do every so often because I would imagine that eventually those cash sizes they're going to get filled up again uh, with the amount of flights that I do and I'm probably just gonna have to do this I don't know maybe every uh, every few months we will of course have to wait and see basically when the stutters return that's when I'll look at clearing all the cash and repeating these steps again but yes please do let me know what you think about this and how you get on if you decide to uh, do the steps laid out earlier on in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have found this useful. And of course, if you have, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future video content and of course, our live streamed flights. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.